So, Liana, um, you've announced your squad now. It must be great to get the news out there and, and what an exciting squad it is. Yeah, no, the secret's been released. We've, we've worked really hard to get um, the squad that we have, and I, I'm really happy. A uh, really good team, really good girls. Um, now it's just about like getting them here and start starting working in October. What is the schedule then? What What's coming up? When do you, do you meet up with the players? Yeah, so first week of October, we start our pre-season uh, with a lot of internationals. We're not going to get them till probably end of October. Um, but first friendly will be uh, December around Christmas time. And then, yeah, just a lot of hard work in between until Feb uh, second week of February when the season opens. And the, the squad that you've put together there, you've got some real great experience, haven't you, in Caroline and Nia. Um, how much of a coup is it for you to have been able to bring those two players yeah, I think we, I'm very lucky that I've played with them before, so I already had that connection and that into them. Um, but they bring a wealth of experience, and especially leadership. I think that's a huge thing in our our game this year. The sport's growing. You, that demand and pressure on athletes is huge. Um, and so to have them part of our squad and to, to lead that in that space and, and, and build those girls around us is going to be instrumental for our team moving forward. There's some stability there, isn't there? We've managed to keep hold of um, really talented players, Bree, Vicky and Michelle. Yeah, no, excited. We Like, those girls have been there since the start, well, Bree especially, so they know what what it's all about. They're part of the Leeds Foundation and can, and can grow that in part of the team. So, no, really excited to have them around. I think Shelley had an amazing Commonwealth Games. Um, yeah, she she was outstanding. Um, to be able to play all three positions at such a young age. And then I think like, Vicky last year, first year to consistently stay on court and had an outstanding season, lots of man of the matches. So, yeah, no, I was very impressed with her as well. And all those players have got plenty of Super League experience, but we're bringing four players in that have <laughs> never had Super League experience. They're going to they're gonna set Super League alight, aren't they? are going to be great stars. Oh, I think so. And just, just meeting them for the first time, like really good girls, really good people, uh, super excited about the challenge. But I think they all come from different environments, have lots of experience in their home nations. And I think that's what makes it even better. There's so many different styles and flavours we can play for to help grow, 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 our, um, grow the Leeds Rhinos way. And how we've announced the players, we've had the help from community, from netball clubs all across Yorkshire. That's been great to see, hasn't it? And really shows what we're about for next year, getting out into the community and, and meeting those young players. Yeah, it's a fantastic idea and uh, initiative to be able to like let them announce all this excitement and, and our team. I think for us as a team, we need to be out and be seen in the community. And this is just the start of it. There's so much more we can do as a team and as a franchise to be, yeah, just be active in our community and how we can grow together. Because we are a new team. We need that fan base. We need that loyalty uh, to be able to grow our sport. And we've just got three more um, training partners to announce, haven't we? And of those will come in the next few weeks. Yes, very excited with that space. Uh, can't quite say just yet, uh, but yeah, three girls that definitely will add to the future, um, have lots of talent and willing to learn off those girls um, in the 12. So no, a very exciting time.